this video is regarding metal coatings so now let us see in detail about metal coatings if the more active metals or less active metal is coated over the base metal then that process is known as metal coating when the more active metal is coated over the base metal then it is known as galvanization uh, meanwhile when the less active metal is coated over the base metal then that process is known as tinning now let us see in detail about galvanization process or anodic metal coatings in order to prevent the iron metal from corrosion if we coat the iron metal uh, with molten mass of zinc or the melted mass of zinc over the surface of iron then that process is known as galvanizing for example consider this as iron in order to uh, protect this iron metal from corrosion if we coat this iron metal with the uh, molten mass of zinc over the uh, surface of this iron then this process is known as galvanizing the galvanization process is carried out by using uh, six steps in the first step the metal steel is washed with organic solvents like uh, benzene or solvent what happens when we uh, wash the metal steel with the organic solvent uh, this organic solvent removes the oils or grease or fatty substances so uh, during the galvanization process in the first step the metal steel is washed with organic solvents to remove oil or grease or fatty substances and in the second step the metal steel is washed with dilute sulfuric acid at 60 to 90 degree celsius when we wash the metal steel with dilute sulfuric acid it removes the oxide scale that means if any oxide content is uh, available in the uh, surface of the metal that will remove by using dilute sulfuric acid this is the second step And in the third step, the metal steel is passed through distilled water. We have to uh, wash the metal steel with distilled water. When we wash the metal steel with the distilled water, it removes the trace of sulfuric acid. So in order to remove the trace of sulfuric acid, uh, we have to wash the metal sample with distilled water that is the third step in the next step the metal steel is dried by using dryer in the next step the dried metal sheet is passed in molten zinc bath or the melted zinc bath at 425 to 430 degrees celsius if the zinc is directly exposed to air then it will undergo oxidation and forms zinc oxide to avoid that one a flux of ammonium chloride is placed over the zinc bath and in the last step the zinc coated metal sheet is passed through a pair of hot rollers When the zinc coated metal sheet is passed through the pair of hot rollers, it removes the excess of zinc content and produces a thin film of uniform thickness. And finally, this zinc coated metal sheet is cooled down. So during galvanization process, in the first step, the metal steel, the metal steel is washed with organic solvents to remove oil or grease or fatty substances and in the next step the metal steel is washed with dilute sulfuric acid to remove oxide scale 
and in the third step uh, the metal steel is washed with distilled water to remove the trace of sulfuric acid and in the next step the metal steel is dried using dryer and in the fifth step the dried metal steel is uh, passed in molten zinc bath at 425 to 430 degree celsius and in the last step the zinc coated metal steel is passed through a pair of hot rollers to remove excess of zinc and produces the thin film of uniform thickness and finally it is cooled down this is nothing but galvanization process so overall in this video we discussed the definition of metal coating and the galvanization of zinc on iron